Um, what? <laughs> um, yeah, just, yeah, just watch, watch. Roll tape. What are you talking about? I'm recording this. For <laughs> what my are you safety. talking about, Priya? That's right. Now, what are you scheming? <laughs> I got a good deal on a four wheeler. <laughs> I talked him down 300 bucks. What are you talking about? See? It's a good four wheeler. Why are they only wanting that much? Because it needs brakes. I got them down to 900 bucks. Well, that's a $200 different, not $300. From $1,100? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. That's three. <laughs> no, $9,000, $1,100, bucks. That's my math. <laughs> no. That's the math that's that makes two. it work. That because you're stupid, I'm not good at math. 9, 10, 11. 10x Ten squared plus 2x equal 9. So for x. Um, maybe I can get him down another 100 <laughs> bucks. What do you think? <laughs> you seriously want to buy it? Yeah! Seri you want yeah. all your money that you worked so hard for, you want to buy a four-wheeler? Yeah! Because if mine breaks down, I got this other one. <laughs> Do you really think it's a good thing? Well, for 900 bucks. I mean, I'll listen to it run and stuff like that, make sure it's a good deal. But it's in better shape than the one he's got, actually. Oh, it's faster. Yeah. <sighs> You're not helping the situation. Keep your mouth shut. What is going on here? Hey, shh, shut your mouth. You ain't helping nothing. Y'all are ganging up on me. <laughs> I don't like this. Look at that grip. Are you sure you want to spend your money? What if it's a piece of crap? Don't mind. Don't we'll mind this. More, for more. What? We'll just sell for more. Sell it for, listen to him. He is your son. <laughs> That's what we do. We buy stuff and we sell it for more. We buy it, we fix it, and we get tired of it. We make money and sell it for more. Hey, don't walk away from me. We ain't done with this business. We literally were just talking about the fact that yeah. we needed one for you to ride because he was talking about the trails. And I said it would be nice if you, do, but in case like you were off somewhere and like one of you broke down. Yeah. We literally were talking about, wouldn't it be nice if your dad had one too so like you could go together? And he's like, yeah. And I really want dad to make these trails just in case. And we were like, <laughs> yeah, he won't you. make the trails. I tell him, tell him, make some trails. He I did. did. He's so cute when he does it. He goes up the hill and down. He's going. Oh, I think man. he was in a sweatshirt and pants and gloves today. You guys were. You guys were just talking about how I needed to. I know. I was like, I was, I was like, man, it'd be so nice if Dad had a four wheeler, <laughs> so we can both can go. It would, it would be nice. It would be really nice. It would be nice. I have to love that big old UTV around. That's my riding shirt. When I was a kid or a teenager, 17 years old, I'm passing it down to you, so you can ride in it. You don't. He. He hates big stuff. He hates big stuff. Yeah, that's pretty big. Can you save me from... Uh, well, we'll go look at this four-wheeler tomorrow, then. That's right. Tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah. Because the guy said he's free tomorrow, so we're going to go look at it tomorrow and see what it's all about. I'll you sure it. you want to do this? Yeah. Yeah? It's a lot of money. So, he wants to spend all this chicken money that he raised, that I gave him for selling... You know, raising chickens and selling. So, he wants to buy me a four-wheeler to ride. An auction. Actually, you want a spare four-wheeler in case yours breaks, you have one to ride. Mm -hmm. And you can just ride my spare one. Well, yeah, he's got motives. Here's a secret. This four-wheeler is a two-stroke. My wife hates two-strokes. She hates the sound because it bing, bing, ding, 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 ding. She hates that sound. This well, is a two-stroke. This is a, like a racing four-wheeler. So, yeah. It'll be interesting. We'll pick it up. We'll look at it tomorrow. We'll probably pick it up on the weekend. We'll see. It might be a huge Brody, turn. So, we'll see. So, we will go check it out tomorrow. And this thing might be a huge turd, but we'll, you know me, I'm probably going to get another project. So, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Well, we wind up picking it up, and uh, 
I can't believe I was able to pull it off, but I was really, I was really moved that my son wanted to buy another four-wheeler, even though he wants a second four-wheeler just for a backup, because with that uh, Honda, don't get me wrong, I mean, we bought parts for it, we're gonna fix it up. But when I was doing the back brakes on it, I actually found that the rear housing for the axle was all thrashed out and needed replaced. So I actually gotta take the whole back end of that four-wheeler off and rebuild it. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna cut the frame, straighten the frame out and get her up and running. Well, that could take a, a little bit of time to do that. Now my son's gonna enjoy riding this thing. So let me tell you about this thing. 2000 Yamaha Blaster 200cc, two stroke motor. This thing has already had some top end work done because there's a new cylinder head on here. Uh, the way I could tell that is because, well, the cylinder head's new and there's ATV or uh, whether that sealant in between it, it's a gasket sealant in between the head and the casing. And uh, she runs, guys. The only thing, <clears throat> sorry, the only thing that is wrong with this four-wheeler is the front headlight is busted up and it doesn't have a rear brake. The other thing that, uh, that, that whole reason why I think this doesn't have a rear brake because it seems like a lot of UTVs and stuff I, I come across, they don't have rear brakes. And it's really weird because they're fairly easy and cheap to fix. This one is not. This has a manual disc brake on the back, no hydraulics. And that bad boy stock is about $300 if you wanna buy that rear caliper. And that is absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous cost for that. So what I did is I wind up purchasing a hydraulic system that will retrofit onto this. I don't know if it'll work or not. I'm gonna have to get creative and fabricate some brackets perhaps, but we're gonna convert this rear end to hydraulic um, disc brakes. Um, other than that, I mean, she's pretty rough as the appearance. Tires probably need to be replaced. Uh, the, everything, the wheel bearings, everything on this thing is really, really good. It kicks over. First couple kicks, it, it fires right up. It has good compression. The seat's torn up. The back bar is bent, but we'll, we'll buy a new one for that and replace it. But really, I mean, the plastics are in good shape. They're not broken. Yeah, this, uh, this plastic, though, is dirty. We're going to see if we're going to clean this up because this stuff is just nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. He's going to get it nastier, but yeah. I mean, there's no reason why we can't take care of it and make it look a little newer. So we're going to use some of the super clean degreaser on this plastic and a magic eraser. I've heard that magic erasers will turn this dingy plastic and it'll get down in those microscopic scratches and whatever is in there and it'll make it look like brand new again. And then we'll treat it with some kind of like a sealer or something like that. Um, I know it's a four wheeler and it's meant to get thrashed and ugly and stuff, but you know, I kind of like to make things look nice again. Cause I do on plan on touching this up, repainting the rims and making it look somewhat presentable cause I like to have nice things. So, uh, we're going to see if this works and if that method works, you guys might have a way to clean your plastics up, make them look like new instead of buying new. So let's hope it works. You guys want to hear this thing start up? Of course you do. Now this thing is cold. I gotta pull the choke out on it, but. Make sure she's in neutral. Now she's cold, so we'll see how she kicks over. Gotta find that compression stroke. Boom. And it idles. We're gonna get to scrubbing this and see if we can get it clean or not and we're gonna see if we can make this plastic look brand new, brand new. <laughs> stay tuned
I think she turned out pretty good. And for a little bit added protection, I added this little guy right here. This is uh, stuff that I used on my Harley when back when I owned one. And this stuff right here, it is amazing. It protects your paint, your chrome, everything. Now, I'm not sponsored. I've had this can for many years. It's been a saddlebag many miles. But I always put it on the front of my fairings of my bike. It's always a quick polish up. Uh, and also keeps the bugs off of stuff too. So I added it to the plastic. So when we get mud on there, we don't get those mud stains on there and they can easily just wash off. So let's take a closer look at this plastic and see what you guys think, how it turned out. Turned out pretty good, huh? That was a nifty little trick. I mean, some of the spots didn't come out because they're like deep scratches and stuff. But uh, for the most part, it worked pretty good. And you can see how dry rotted this was out because you know obviously you see this is all tore up from being left out in the sun and everything but some of that biker's uh spirits right here that's what it'll do to your your seats so when you're out there riding and everything uh when you're done riding put that on there and it'll it'll keep that seat looking nice and new just a little tip for me to you yeah look at this i mean this all turned out really nice right here uh, i mean look at the the plastics here that turned out really good I mean, I think it just gave a little level. Oh, I'm wiping off some of that biker's uh, spirit stuff there. You get a nice little shine out of it. And I even used it up here. Took care of that. Polished up that chrome a little bit. We could probably... Brag was a little wet. There you go. Now, we got a front light cover coming. That was... Uh, I found one fairly cheap, thank God, because those rings are like 80 bucks for this, too. And I, I contemplate on putting an LED in there. I still may. But I want to keep this kind of stock. Now, we will be repainting all this stuff that's been thrashed by grass and weeds and rocks and everything. Uh, this is this is weird. This is a galvanized fence post. I don't know why they have it on here. But, hey, it works. And it's probably tougher than our, the original. I did adjust the, the shocks. They are solid. They never adjusted these shocks from factory, I guess, because they were in the original positions that they come in so we got a couple extra miles on those shocks now the back shock is just as good nice and stiff man i'm just overall impressed with this machine this motor cleaned up real nice now i said that the top end was done because i can tell there's new sealant here and these top ends from what i've read online on this four-wheeler these things last forever. So this tells me that somebody put this thing through the ringer and they probably blew up that top end. Uh, I'm going to assume the fact that it does not have an oil reservoir uh, back here underneath the fender anymore is probably why the top end of this motor met its demise because that probably got plugged up like it does and this thing went kapoof. Now they're just mixing it here in the gas tank no problems at all. Like I said, they got rid of that uh, that throttle response, uh, automatic throttle response thing. They got that out of there. I'll clean some of this wiring up, but it hasn't been chewed up too much. Not at all. And it shifts really nice. If you guys were wondering about uh, that Honda that we had on the channel not too long ago, it, it's running fine. My son has been tearing up the trails with it. Uh, I wound up putting brakes on the front. They, uh, did the replace the brakes on the back, put a caliper on there. Uh, just, I kept the old one just in case I want to rebuild it, but it, there's still plans for it. Like I said, I had to tear, I have to tear out the rear end on it and uh, replace all the bearings, but we ordered all those parts for that. So when that thing's down, we'll be straightening out the frame. He'll be riding on this thing. And I think he's actually better on this, but the bad part is it doesn't have a rear brake. So we'll wait for that to come in and we'll stick that on there. May make a video on that because that's going to be like a cool uh, custom um, brake back there because these things did not come with hydraulic anything so it's manual front brakes manual back brakes back caliper super expensive to replace probably why it's missing because they trashed it and uh, they never replaced it but she does she does stop pretty good but before he starts riding on it we're gonna get back brakes up and going so hope you guys enjoyed the video remember that little trick uh those little magic erasers they work wonders on this atv plastic so if you guys had some problems getting that white looking white again and they can making it look new there you go. Hope it works for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.